Friends, welcome back. In this video, I'd like to do this machine on the Bun Hub depths, which link will be added into the description section below. So if you want, you can download and play this machine. This machine is not a typical boot to loot machine. However, I'd like to take you to go through it. Before we move forward, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like below. You are greatly appreciated. So enough said, let's just get into the Linux VM. The first thing to do is to identify the IP address of the target. And we can use netdiscover. Of course, we need to use sudo in the front of the netdiscover to run this utility and use option of i to specify the interface so net discover will send packets through this interface to discover the ip address of a target okay and followed by the r to specify the network range it's done as you can see over here the IP address of a target could be identified as 254. And then we need to do the port scanning with a map to save time. I've already completed earlier. So for now, we just get out this result. As you can see over here, I used the option like scene scan, the version scan, the default script scan and then followed by the dash p dash to do the comprehensive scan. And then the uppercase and the normal n not to do the live testing. In other words, we will assume that the target is online. And then the last option of all is on and uh, we'll output the result into this file. If you know, do not know, do not know how many formats can be supported by the map. As you can see here, yeah, we can we can use O N O X O S, and the different option stands for a different format like O G uppercase G grippable grippable format. And I always use this one the in the normal because I read it manually. Okay. And uh, so we go back to see the result of the map. As you can see over here, the target has only one open port number 8080, which is running HTTP surface, and also the version information, Apache, Tomcat, GSP engine. I think I have already done this sort of a machine in the other videos. If you have already followed my channel, I recommend you follow so you will not miss my uploaded videos. So what are we going to do next? We need to do emulation both manually and automatic, automatically against the HTTP surface. Let's launch our browser. Maybe I need to close down the history tabs. And now we can put the IP address of the target into the address bar. Yeah, it works. Of course, this is the very default Tomcat page. And here, it's very easy to notice this link, the, super, the hyperlink manager web app. Normally, it will require us to be authenticated to access this manager. We click. And in other videos, I think I've already demonstrated the technique on how to use, utilize the Metasploit to emulate the username and password for the manager web app. For now, I'd like to repeat this process. So because this is a very important technique, so we, now we can launch our Metasploit console. Then I can use search command because I cannot remember the exact name of the module, search Tomcat. For us, we just 
need to remember or memorize the keywords. Yeah, this one is what we are looking for. And we can copy and we can use the use command and paste in here. And then we can show options. And we need to set remote host to our target. And the remote port number, we just leave as it is because the, this is actually meeting our target machine. Okay, so we just run it. Yeah, this module is trying to combine the username and the password from, from the built-in word list. Let's scroll back to the top to see nothing, no success. Okay, so how to do? Maybe we need to exit from the mid sprite console. We need to do the more emulation with this web application automatically. For example, we can launch our Nikto to do the emulation. Yeah, because besides the version information can be reviewed. Nikto can also give us information about like request header, even sometimes the exploits of the web application. And here, uh, give us the files or directories, in the manager, the slash HTML. Of course, we have already know this directory earlier. And the next one, test.gsp, we need to take a look at by the browser manually. And we can cancel and we can go to the test JSP. It looks like we can run some some command directory. So here, for example, we can you know we can temp. Yeah, get an error. So we can run here, we can run this one, we can copy. Yeah, we got the result of this command. So maybe at this moment, we we can you know we can guess that uh, this field has command injection vulnerability, right? So we need to do more testing. For example, can we get out the password file? No, nothing returned. Also, we can put yeah we can you know ls get a listing. And we can use this one separate by this symbol to run cat. Nothing returned. So maybe some this is the restrict web shell. We cannot run all commands. So what do we have to do next? You know the objective here is to get the initial photo hold on the target. However, we cannot run the reversal command. Even we cannot run most of the commands. Can we run, we can list the home directory because a list command can be executed, no problem. So from here, yeah, this is structure of the home directory and from this structure, we can tell that the target has user name bill or user bill. So we can note down such information onto our notebook. Okay. Next, we need to list deeper, you know, for example, bill and get a listing. Here we got more information about the home directory of the bill user. So here we found this one dot ssh. So could we access this directory ssh? Get a listing no, cannot be executed. No response. So I'd like to. However, from this one, from this information, we can deduce that this user bill is one member of a pseudo group on the target. It means that this user, when we put the command, we put sudo in, in the front of the command, what we're trying to run, K 
can, you know, can run some privileged commands. Okay, let me clear. So, because this from this information, we can deduce that the bill user is one member of the pseudo group on the packet. So then, the current user, not current, the bill can run command. Of course, we need to put a pseudo in front of the command to run all commands, even the command. Belong to the privileged, uh, privileged ones, okay, or require privilege or super user to run it to run them, okay. So maybe next we can, you know, you know, also you know the SSH, because maybe the target is running the SSH surface. However, from the map scanning. We can tell that the target doesn't, you know, doesn't open the SSH surface to the public. So how can we display the process? We can use a command. Can we run PS AUX? Yeah, we can. Wonderful. So if we scroll down. And to take a look at the result of the process information on the target, as you can see over here, maybe around, around here. Yeah, as you can see here, SSHD or daemon service daemon process does run on the target or is running on the target. So maybe there's some firewall running or configured by the target. To confirm this, we can. You know we can list the etc directly because if the normally the utility will put the configuration into this directory. I think you are, you have already been familiar with the Linux commands, right? So now we can scroll down and you can notice. Yeah, it does have ufw. You know this is on complicated firewall. Because just now I said the current user, the bill, can can run the privileged command when we put sudo. So the first thing we need to do is to, you know, we need to block or disable this UFW. So how to do? And let me. And as you know, the SSH. You if you use main command to display. The usage of SSH command, SSH. Not normally we can you know specify the username and the target information like IP address. However, we also can run the command. As you can see over here, this is the optional. Okay, so now we can quit. So now we go back to this one. We can SSH build local host sudo, and we can. You know, uh, UFW disable. So how to disable the UFW? I cannot remember. Clearly, clearly, disable UFW Linux. So the command. Yeah, this one disable. So my disable get a listing. No error. Okay, so now we can, of course, we can set up the listener on the target, not the target, the Caninix instead. Sorry about my bad. And now we can copy this reverse command, which you can get it from the pen test monkey website, and then we can run ssh build local host sudo and paste in here. And we can run this command. It looks like it's working perfectly. As you can see, even we are root user, so then we can navigate to root directory, and then we can cut out the root flag without any issue. So that's pretty much it. I'd like to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a nice day.